It's Tuesday the 20th of October, I'm Tom Gregan. Police are investigating the death of a man in Tameside. On Friday morning, the body of a 36-year-old man was found at Victoria Court in Ashton. The circumstances surrounding the death are being treated as suspicious. A huge clean-up of Staley Bridge Canal has been undertaken by volunteers from the Wooden Canal Boat Society Group. They teamed up with volunteers from Canal and River Trust, with 13 volunteers forming two teams, one working from the bank and the other from the deck of the canal boat for Get Me Not. The volunteers hauled an enormous amount of rubbish from the canal, including 20 rusting bikes and many shopping trolleys. Glossop Heritage Trust is holding an open evening on Tuesday to the man who made modern Glossop. Architect Matthew Ellison Hadfield will be under the spotlight at Central Methodist Church on Chapel Street at 7.30pm. There will be an illustrated talk on Matthew's life and the buildings he designed in Glossop and across the country. Staying in Glossop and Derbyshire County Council are reminding parents of six-year-old pupils that they've only got until the end of the month to apply for a secondary school place in September. Applying online is the easiest method. Just visit the school admissions section at www.derbyshire.gov.uk forward slash admissions. And finally, Christmas comes early to the George Lawton Hall tonight when the Duckingfield Amateur Operatic and Dramatic Society open with Irving Berlin's White Christmas. The show, based on the 1954 film that starred Bing Crosby and Rosemary Clooney, is packed with great songs and plays at the George Lawton Hall till Saturday.